Money is considered by some as the cause of all evil. This story unfortunately gives credence to this theory. Mike Malloy in any other world would have been an inconsequential footnote in history if it wasn't for money, or more precisely, the greed of money. Not that Mike was the greedy one. Mike's sad and unfortunate life earned himself the nickname Mike the Durable, or my personal favourite, the Unkillable Irishman. The events which make us speak about Mr Malloy started in December 1932. At this point in his life he was one of the many homeless, alcoholic people in Prohibition era New York, drinking in a nondescript speakeasy in the Bronx. Five men, later dubbed the Murder Trust, plotted to murder Mike for a number of insurance policies fraudulently taken out on his name was conceived over a round of drinks in July 1932. The five conspirators in the most cruelest of endeavours were Tony Marino, Joseph Red Murphy, Francis Pasqua, Hershey Green and Daniel Kreisberg. Tony was not new to this style of money making endeavour, as was involved in the murder and collection of insurance on Mabel Carson. The plan, simple as they called it, to get Mike to drink himself to death, as he was already well on the way to doing that anyway. The prize, more than $61,000 in today's money. It seems like Mike's fortunes had changed when Tony gave him an unlimited bar tab. Whether he questioned his seemingly random change in luck, no one will know. Day after day and drink after drink, Mike came back for more. Eventually the conspirators became impatient, drink did not seem to affect his low state of health. Alcohol was substituted for antifreeze but Mike still would pass out and come back for more. Eventually they tried turpentine, horse liniment and finally rat poison. Malloy still lived and came back. The group tried a different approach and fed him oysters dipped with wood alcohol as Pascua had seen a man die from eating this combination before. This unsurprisingly barely made Malloy blink. Next up on the menu was a sandwich made of spoilt sardines and carpet tacks. Again Malloy shrugged it off and came back. The dastardly team came to the realisation that Malloy would not die from anything that he had ingested. A different tact was needed, <laughs> excuse the pun, and the group decided to freeze him to death. On a night when the temperature reached minus 25 degrees centigrade, Malloy as usual passed out after a night of boozing. He was dragged out to a park and covered in snow with 19 litres of water poured on his bare chest. And surprise surprise, he showed up the next day for more booze to drink. Frustrated, the syndicate attempted to kill him by hitting him with Green's taxi at 45 miles per hour. This attempt brought him closest to death and put him in the hospital for three weeks with broken bones. The next attempt took place on February the 22nd, after the usual case of Malloy passing out, he was dragged into Murphy's room where a hose was placed in his mouth and hooked up to the gas mains. Death occurred after an hour. His body was buried quickly, a dodgy death certificate was created citing lumbar pneumonia and only $800 was collected from one of the insurance policies, as the other two insurance companies wanted to see his body. Eventually stories started floating around the underbelly of New York about an Irishman called Iron Mike. The police looked into the suspicious company Mike kept, the five men were apprehended, tried and four met their own death in the electric chair. Only Green survived with life imprisonment. Thanks for watching. I'd like to say thank you to Procrastinating Pixelator who created a pixel version of me. Uh, if you click on the pixelated version of me, it will send you a link to his channel.